Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Faster Than Life! And when we last left off we were jumping to the energy controlled sector as unanimously agreed by you, the loyal subscribers. And here we are! We have arrived in energy space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. And we have a store straight off the bat, which is great news. We shall be going straight to said store. If there's anything worth getting, I might grab it. But otherwise, we'll see what happens. An energy ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. And they have the following items. A defense drone 2, an anti ship 1, a hull repair drone, and cloaking. We can sell the defense drone 2, but we will not be selling to get cloaking, because I'd prefer to get something else. In this case, the things that people have been requesting. An extra level in the scanner system, an extra level in the door system, and an extra level in the teleport system. This allows us many, many new things. But in more importantly, there's another store there. We'll go via the distress beacon. We can now see inside enemy ships now. We've got the level 2 scanners. This will be good. Aha! And now we've immediately got a blue item, paying itself back. We arrive at a smoldering NG research station. It's distress call unanswered. An attack by pirates or mantis most likely. There may be someone left alive, or something else of value left on board. We shall run a secondary scan. Scanners reveal the yes, station's reactor is overloading. Not only that, but there's an engine... Engi... An injured engi! Injured engi! Say that ten times very quickly while on too much sugar. And a functioning drone schematic are still on board. There's not time for both. We shall save the engi. Your away team heads straight for the engi. In terms of time to spare, we put some distance on the station before it blows, and the engi is so impressed by your crew that they volunteer to join you. Ah, uh, we have a stick! A stick. Quite literally, we have a stick. Well, hello, stick. I'm remembering how to control this game. You shall hang out in drone control. Because why not? We have so many crew members now. Stick. Literally. Is that a name? It's literally. Yeah. Stick. Well, we're going to hit people for stick. If we didn't have those advanced scanners, there was a good chance that we, that shop could have blown up in our faces. That, um... Not shop. That... Our station could have blown up in our faces, and straight away we have the site of recent battle. Either the show of a mantis force or the engine here wasn't disposed to go peacefully. We pick through the pieces and collect missiles, drone parts, and scrap. A nice amount of scrap to boot. The door wants to be opened by more cats. This cat caught a mouse recently. Not sure if that's good or bad. But once we arrive, your screen lights up of warnings. Your screen and mine included. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools that have tried to shut down our engines. Our crew manages to keep them barely operational as we move into attack. To be honest, we probably want some more weapons. Ah, control. But we'll see what we can do. Actually, that's crewed by purely NG forces. I have a cunning plan. And they can't get through our shields. We're going to use our iron, our small bomb on their weapon, on their medic bay system. We're going to disengage the other weapons. One day we'll even hit with it. Okay, secondary iron blast, hit that please. Just keep hitting the, the, the med bay. If that med bay is disabled, we can very safely enter that craft. We'll be able to destroy it at our leisure. We don't want three. Go away, three, four. Please blow that up. There we go. It is now safe to teleport our crew over. And we shall do so now. And immediately, both huts and Lagani are now taking those NG apart. The NG have reduced combat damage, so they will be easily taken apart without med bay support. Why are they using a Zoltan fighter though? I mean seriously, an energy fighter. Sorry. Well, they actually did damage. Well, good on ya. I suppose we can hit the damage with a stick. Still, they did one damage. 
and we get 40 scrap in return and a free heal so the damage is restored to our bodies. We'll get those two back in Med Bay as they belong as we're hitting that damage with a stick. I love that. I love that saying. I'm going to milk it. Milk the sayings, people. Learn. We have a ton of, ton of scrap. We're going to save it, though, for that shop. If there's something worth grabbing, I'm grabbing it with extreme prejudice. I'm going to grab it with a stick. Let's go to that shop. What have you got for us? We have 163 scrap. A message arrives. Your scrap owls are weapons for you. We're about to raise shields when we realize it's just an energy trader looking for a trade. And they have humans and more drones for sale. We'll grab the fuel and that's really all we can take advantage of. We'll continue to jump. At this stage, I'm going to upgrade the shield system if we don't see another shop soon. For now, let's jump. We'll jump over here. It's a good place to jump. Jump, everybody, jump! And we will find a random pike beam. Thank you. Thank you, pike beam granting people. It is a good weapon. Should we use it? It's up to you, the loyal subscribers. Tell me what you want me to wield. We arrive in a completely pointless land. We'll go there. Yeah, there. We don't want to be stuffed over by that that FTL map there. Aha. Upon completing our jump, we receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. I'll reject your kind offer, good sir. Too bad. You will regret this decision. Oh, my regret is many and manifold. There are missile launchers. That's slightly more regretful. We will disengage one level of teleporter in order to activate nothing at this stage, actually. We can just keep doing that. The pike beam will not be used. Look, a small bomb there. Medbay. Now that their shields, now that they're compromised, I shall immediately teleport my guys in. After putting an extra bar in power. Gives them less time if things go wrong. Already, their lives and dreams are crumbling before their very eyes. That beam is a nasty one, though. Oh, they're teleporting to our place. They're going to try and give Vivimorg a run for his money. Fortunately, we have Straga. Straga is an epic man. And he can defeat many, many of Vivimorg. So good on ya. Those enemies are crumbling before our strong might. I don't know what happens if those guys are killed before these guys. Oh, look at that battle just keeps going. Well, I suppose just keep keeps ha hanging there. If they come back, we'll let them. I'm not liking our Vivi mods for taking some damage though. What we'll do is we'll just teleport back. Let our boarding crew do what they're meant to do. These guys can hang out here. They won't do that much damage before the oxygen is recharged. Actually, they will. Get back in there, Straga. You go in there, Viva Lord. You guys go in here. Straga, get up. New mail arrives. No. Nope. Straga, back to piloting. You two go in here. Thank you. Magadi, in. Do your job. No, nope, that's, that's Stick. Stick doesn't hit things. Stick hits damage. Okay, now the combat guys are in combat. And they, the very last minute they teleport away. But we still get extra experience for our crew. This is good. We can now teleport and finish them off. Because, well, let's face it, why not? They're that close to death. And with two punches, the enemy NG is destroyed. And we collect useful materials, such as fuel and even more scrap. 200 scrap, I might I add. Now Vivi Mord and Stick can get back to their respective stations. Stick shall be in the drone control. That's how he configures drones. Those two guys will be in med bay. And the next jump. Where's a distress beacon there? The exit's there. Unfortunately, we don't have time for that distress beacon. Time is running out in every literal sense. Time is running out. Time, time. Let's see what happens, shall we? Hutz and Lagardi are fully healed. And we shall continue to jump. Jump, I say! Jump over... See, if that's there, it'll be there next turn. Yeah, we need to jump here. We have one more jump. Do the jumping! Oh, I didn't heal Straga. Well, um, well, yeah. That was a completely just pointless jump. Heal Straga! 
And as people are, want me to reduce shields, I suppose I can do shields. But there's a lot of scrap, seriously. If I can hang on one more battle, I will. And I'll give you the choice of where I spend that scrap. Because we need some more weapons. Or do we? We do have two pike beams. Those aren't bad. And we have borders. Pretty good borders by now. Got, um... We got Hutz with 10% more combat damage. And Lagardi, who's only two more kills away from 10% extra combat damage. Still, let's progress. What's waiting us here at the final destination? It is a small bomb. And more scrap. Well, we could probably afford to do that with no penalty. We still have double of the weapons we already have. So that's the crew, and this is the crew. We really don't need stick, but we have stick. We have crew, we have equipment, and we have upgrades. So what do you want me to do? I have 231 scrap. And the next sector, we have the rebel-controlled sector, or the slug-controlled nebula. Both lead to a distant nebula in the future. But what is your call, the slug or the rebels? It's your decision. Remember, let's interactively play... Foster the Light!